I am a wife, a mom, a very active woman, and four years ago was um, diagnosed with the early on stage um, breast cancer. When I was first diagnosed, I came straight out and said, I didn't want nipples. I wanted flowers. In the last couple of years, I saw some beautiful art and thought, wow, I can cover my scars. It doesn't have to just be a nipple. We're at my studio, Garnet Tattoo, in San Diego, California. Today, a bunch of us tattooers that are aligning with breast cancer survivors and, and making fantastic artwork. Yay! Just overlay that. I have said my whole life, no tattoos. But you know, you can never say never. This is so, so exciting. Was it hard, like, to sleep last night? Yeah, it was hard for me. I, I didn't sleep at all. Really? I can't go sleep. She had talked to me a lot about how she wanted to be able to look at herself in the mirror and to see something besides the scars. And we chose to do a sort of a demi cup, which can be hidden easily or also can be shown. She also wanted it to be very feminine, uh, very bright. That's... Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> It definitely does bother me as a woman to not have nipples. It's like looking at myself without a nose. And so I had a hard time looking at myself. I didn't look at myself in the mirror. I don't take my shirt off in front of my husband. <laughs> Shane Wallen did my tattoo today. I just told him what I had in mind and he really captured that. Angela basically just giving me a couple of references and sort of a rough feel of what she was looking for and decided that we were going to be roses and she wants something bright and colorful. Wow. Angela. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Today I felt enthused, in charge, inspired by everyone in the room. Gia, the other survivor that was having her tattoo, it just gave me strength and it made me feel great. Having another woman here with me going through this was amazing. And it was an absolute blessing having Angela here to support me. today took about six hours. Some of these women have been going through this process for years. The amount of change that we can make with just six hours of time, it's incredible. When I looked in the mirror, when all was done, the first thing that came to, to my mind was just absolute joy and, and love. And there's no scars, no. I mean, it doesn't look weird. No, it doesn't look weird at all. No. Oh, this is so lovely. Emily did an amazing job. It was just wow. It goes beyond words, the feeling you get when you finish a piece and someone gets up and looks in the mirror for the first time and they're overwhelmed. You can just see all the, the emotions running through and it's powerful. And to me, it's just, it's amazing to be part of that experience. Looking at myself for the first time, with this beautiful piece of art on my chest now, where I had scars, it was just surreal. I really don't have words to explain how it makes me feel looking in the mirror now.